Danny Miller shared the news to his 672,000 followers on Friday, joking that after three weeks apart, the pair had found the perfect opportunity to catch up now that they're practically stuck at home. On his Instagram story, the 30-year-old said, So, after 23 days of not being able to see or speak to Steph and Albert, which was the hardest time of my life, we now have the perfect opportunity to catch up with one another as we begin isolation because Steph has unfortunately caught COVID. She's not feeling her best today, so she's gone down for a sleep while Albert is asleep, so I thought it amused myself by catching up with all you guys. Danny was crowned the king of the castle on ITV's I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. On Sunday after three weeks of grueling Bush Tucker trials. On Tuesday, the Emmerdale star appeared on Larray to discuss his big win before being surprised with a video call from his partner and their seven-week-old Albert. Danny couldn't contain his emotions as he broke out in tears upon seeing his family on screen. We've missed you so much, Danny. Steph said while tending to their son. We just want you to come home now. The surprise had clearly taken the soap star off guard as he apologized to Lorraine Kelly for what he deemed to be quite an awkward moment. Oh my god man! This wasn't the plan. Sorry Lorraine, I'm sorry you're sandwiched in between this because this must be so awkward for you. Oh look at him. Shortly after leaving the castle on Sunday evening, Danny enjoyed a festive rap party with fellow contestants, including David Gino Law, at the fancy Welsh Hotel Palais Hall. It was a proper an ease up, a source told The Sun. They all had to stick around until lunchtime the next day to speak to TV shows like Good Morning Britain and This Morning, then Frankie was due on Loose Women. Dot slash celebrity news slash 1535741 slash Piers Morgan Kim Kardashian sparks backlash uncalled for dig lawyer bar exam passed so as reunions with family had to wait, they decided to make the most of their last night together. The Stockport local shared a video clip of himself and his co-star David Ginola dancing to Abba's Dancing Queen as they partied until the wee hours. The two have formed an exceptionally close bond in the brief time frame they've become acquainted with one another. In an interview with The Mirror on Monday, Danny told the publication that the pair had become such good friends that the former football star had invited himself to the wedding next year. He turned around about a week after it invited him in camp and I think he was talking to Simon, he said, I've got a wedding next year. Then he went, it's on the... Well, I can't say when it is, but the something of June. I went, whose wedding's that? And he said it's yours. Danny added, he might well be an usher. I might ask him and he is in the mix. But he might say no because he's in the south of France doing something cool.